For me, a huge chunk of my life has been devoted to unicycling. In sixth grade, one of my best friends got a unicycle for Christmas. He finally dragged me to practice one day and I learned right away and it just kind of took off from there. Starting in my house on the, on, in the hallway, you know, with, with both hands on either side of the wall, just trying to make it a few feet. And then I moved outside to my driveway and I would uh, actually kind of coincidentally, I would use the basketball hoop uh, to, to start. I went to England and there I started playing unicycle hockey. So I started doing unicycle sports then. Basketball is by far the easiest one that requires the least amount of equipment. So we were just like, we should play. I think Stanford's the type of community where if someone has a very unique or niche interest, they can kind of make something happen with it. And there's going to be another group of people on campus that are interested in it. This year is the first time that we actually have or organized unicycle basketball practices. In basketball, the easiest thing to do is to stand there with the ball. And in unicycle basketball, that's one of the hardest things to do. I'm still working on idling, which is where you go back and forth in one place. It probably means that the game's a little bit faster, actually, because people are always moving and, you know, there's more turnovers and it's a really quick game compared to basketball where you need a shot clock just to get people to shoot. The next step is really kind of formulating a, a more of a club, I guess, on campus that can really you know, have different equipment and teach people to be able to ride. Unicycle basketball is a great motivator for people to get started unicycling because then you have an end goal. Instead of like, oh great, I can unicycle. It's like, oh, I can unicycle and play basketball? Like, this is awesome. I should go do that. Santa Cruz just formed their own team that we're supposed to play in a couple weeks. Berkeley has a team, they've got the second best team in the world. Uh, and then as part of like the international unicycling community, there's a lot of people from all over. I kind of have a goal really close to us, so it's good to have them around, to study their play, and see where we're headed. Usually, at first, people are a little surprised. They're like, what do you do? You unicycle? I don't know. I'm a little bit of a weird guy. Like, I'm a little eccentric, and I feel like it just fits really well with my personality. Oh, When you're a little kid, when you first learn how to dribble a basketball, that's a big deal. And you get that feeling all over again when you play unicycle basketball. It's kind of going back to like the little leagues. Somebody makes a three-pointer and the crowd goes wild. I mean, that's what it's like on unicycles. When somebody makes a three-pointer, it's a, it's a big deal again. It means we can take more enjoyment out of, out of the small successes that we get out on the court.